Hi everyone, so this is another video on how to trace and track the voltage in the laptop motherboard or computer motherboard. So this schematic is for D latitude 5480 and 5488, but the working principle is the same. So guys, I guarantee for you that if you follow me and understand this video and all what I'm seeing here, I'm sure that your vision to motherboard repairing and hardware repairing will be changed 100% because this is a very exclusive and unique video that will teach you the details on how to trace, track and follow voltage into computer motherboard. So if you understand this schematic, this power sequence that I'm going to teach you, you will be a professional in motherboard repairing. So let's get started. So basically here, this is the motherboard. This is the whole motherboard. Okay. This square and rectangular here means ICs and voltages. Okay. So first note. So this color here, orange color means the CPU power. Okay, this pink color means the power for the PCH or the North Bridge with the ICH and so on. By the way, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video and like the video because your likes and engagement motivate me to create more and more unique videos for you. And for anyone who wants to join me in the Patreon page where I share and upload every single day in a daily basis laptop schematics and some uh, useful content you are very welcome in the Patreon page thank you very much and let's get started so here as you can see we have here the adapter okay this is adapter as you can see here okay and over here we have the ic the charge ic okay so here we have the adapter and this is the charge ic the reference for this ic is ICL88738. Okay, so then we have the battery over here. So here we have adapter that is connected to the charge IC. Then the charge IC will take the 19 volt from the adapter and transfer it to another voltage about 8 volt in order to charge the battery. Okay, and here as you can see, we have two arrows here as you can see means. This is the power SRC, means the main voltage that will power the motherboard. Okay, so 19 volts. This is basically 19 volts, usually 19 volts. So this voltage has two sources, the adapter through the charger, IC, or the battery. Okay, so if you have, for example, the adapter connected, we will use this around the 19 volt will be generated here but if you remove the adapter the 19 volt will be generated by the battery okay so this is the main voltage 19 volt so we have here 19 volt so this 19 volt will be distributed to all circuit in the motherboard as you can see all this around means 19 volts okay so the first 19 volt will be applied to this circuit. So this circuit is for what exactly? Let's see. Let's see for what. Here we have plus 1.2 volt memory. And over here we have 0 0.6 volt DDR VTT. So these two voltages are for RAM. So this is the RAM control IC. And I can even know the type of RAM here. The type of the RAM here is DDR4 because the working voltage, as you can see here, of DDR4 is 1.2 volt. And the voltage for terminal is the half of this voltage means plus 0.6 volts. So this IC is the RAM control and over here we have two voltages 1.0 volt and 0.6 volt for terminals so remember that the RAM has two voltages one main voltage and the other voltage for VTT or for terminals so for DDR1 the main voltage is 2.5 volt and the VTT or RAM for terminals is 1.0 
25 volt. The DDR2, the main voltage is 1.8 volt and the VTT is 0.9 volt. For DDR3, the main voltage is 1.5 volt and the VTT or the voltage for terminals is 0.75 volt. And for DD4, and for DDR4, as you see here, the main voltage is 1.2 volt and the VTT 0.6 volt. And the DDR5 has as a main voltage 1.1 volt and the VTT 0.55 volt. Okay, so then this voltage will be applied to, to another circuit. As you can see, it's part number TPE22. 961 its reference in the motherboard is uz z26 okay so 1.2 volt will be applied to this as you can see i see in order to generate plus vcc sfr oc as you can see so this voltage is for the cpu it's usually about between 0.3 volts to 1.5 volt as you can see this color orange color here and this also is for the cpu power okay we have here cpu power okay and this one we have here the blue color here is for gt3 power or the ram power okay so this one here we have orange color this is basically for ram and of course for the cpu okay because we have this color means this 1.2 volt will be applied to the CPU and to the RAM, okay? So then the SIGINT 19 volt will be applied to another circuit. As you can see here, we have the part number of this circuit. We have SYX1980D, okay? And its reference in the motherboard is PU301. So you can just go to the motherboard and search for PU301 and you can find this IC. So this IC has as a purpose to generate plus one volt for what? For the PCH. Do you see this pink color? This pink color means the power is for PCH. So basically the PCH is a chipset that integrates the not bridge, the graphic card and the ICH. We called it the PCH. Okay. After that, we will take this voltage and apply it to three ICs, as you can see here. The first IC tip is 22.961. It will generate plus one volt, as you can see. This is also for the CPU, also plus one volt, as you can see for CPU. And it will generate also plus one volt PEX VDD for what? We have here green color for, as you can see, the GPU, the graphic unit for the graphic unit okay then we have another voltage here also we have 19 volts so 19 volt will be applied to this circuit i'm going to show you the circuits in the schematic then the circuit will generate plus 5 volt always okay basically it will generate two voltages plus 5 volt always and another plus 5 volt always too okay you can see me where is the plus 3 volt 3 always here we have plus 3 volt 3 always in this computer basically do circuits that generate plus 3 volt and plus 5 volt are separated a little bit okay are separated as you can see here so we have here this pu 102 it generates plus 5 volt always and here we have pu 100 that generate plus 3 po 3 volt always so guys here a note a very important note i told you in the previous video that plus 5 volt always and plus 3 volt always are a very important voltage in every motherboard without these two voltages the motherboard cannot work properly i have a proof here do you see plus 5 volt always so once this ic generates plus 5 volt always all these ICs, as you can see, and voltages will be generated based on this voltage, as you can see. Okay, based on this voltage. Also for plus 3.3 volts, always, as you can see. So let's see. Let's. Do you see? Plus 3.4 always will be the source 
of all these voltages as you can see over here okay so without plus 3.3 volt and plus 5 volt nothing will be happen in the motherboard the computer cannot work properly okay so this ic will generate as you can see plus 5 volt always and then this plus 5, plus 5 volt always will be applied to all the circuits in order to generate these voltages as you can see so this one one volt is for the cpu power this one as you can see is for the pch and these four voltages are for the g3 power as you can see over here okay the same here the voltage will be applied to this ic also and this ic basically this ic is for the gpu core as you can see gpu core when you hear the gpu means the graphic controller and cpu means the processor the central processing unit okay and as i told you before before of course here we have plus 3.3 volt always that will be generated by, by this ic as you can see is y8288b its reference in the motherboard is pu100 and then based on this voltage all these other voltages will be generated including lcd vdd so the power the lcd the vdd for lcd so without this 3.3 volt you cannot see anything in the screen or in the monitor and of course here we have another plus 3.3 volt run that will be the source of this voltage of course for the graphic card for the cam as you can see plus 3.3 volt for cam etc so here as you can see we have as you can see other ICs over here so basically these three ICs has as a purpose to generate the voltage for the CPU here as you can see because we have this orange color we have plus VCC SA plus VCC GT plus VCC core and this one basically for the Bluetooth power as you can see we have the Bluetooth power okay this is the IC that is responsible to generate the power for the Bluetooth so as you can see you will find always for each ic as you can see over here as i told you before this is the reference for the ic in the motherboard you will find u or ut is for ic and this is the part number okay and over here we have as you can see here the power for example here we have plus 3.3 volt so this power will go directly through this inductor this inductor will increase the current and then the voltage will pass through these capacitors in order to filter the voltage and remove the noise and then will go directly and power the ic here we have four vcc's means all these pins the ic will be powered in all these four pins so this pink as you can see point means we have connection as you can see pink point me ha means we have connection over here so basically here this is the charge circuit where we have the jack the power jack over here basically so here we have 19 volt this 19 volt will pass through this current sense resistor as you can see this is current sense resistor that is connected to the ic in its terminal because the ic controls this current sense resistor this current sense resistor has as a purpose to sense the current and know about the current is it enough or not okay and then here of course we will get the power that will be distributed to the motherboard here also we have another 19 volt that will be passed through this inductor this inductor has the purpose to increase the current and the power also will pass through this ceramic capacitors basically those are ceramic capacitors and over here we have electrolytic capacitors here we, we will get charger uh, crc in order to charge the battery of course okay and here we have to charge ic as you can see here we have here some here this is basically dual mosfet please don't forget to subscribe share the video and like the video because your likes and engagement motivate me to create more and more unique videos for you and for anyone who want to join me in the Patreon page where i share and upload every single day in a daily basis laptop schematics and some useful content you are very welcome in the Patreon page thank you very much